Who can help me draw a car? <laughs> draw the first thing on a clock face. Make sure and draw it really big. Very good. What's the next thing? <laughs> Is that what we're going to do first? It's a hand. Mm, can we put our hand yet? <coughs> Why not? No. What do we do next? No. <coughs> no. What in the Wow. together the clock face for me. Now I can put the time. Now that I have my clock face all put together, now I can make my time. I want you to get out your top colorful pitch. We are going to look at this first green box up at the top. We've got two different times. Barbara goes to the store at eight o'clock. Circle the clock that shows eight o'clock. Which one did you circle? Very good. The one on the right side. How do we know that this time shows 8 o'clock? You are exactly right. Did you guys hear her? She said that the hour hand is pointing directly to the 8. So that says 8. And then, whenever the minute hand is pointing to the 12, it says o'clock. Very good. When the minute hand points to the 6, it says 30. Did I want 8.30? No, I wanted 8 o'clock. Very good. 
Okay, let's go to the next green circle. And now we have three clocks. Barbara takes Rhea for a walk at 1.30. Circle the clock that shows 1.30. Which clock did you circle? This one right here? The one on the very right? Why? I know something. What? That the blue one's pointing to 12. So this is. Yep. So this is 12 o'clock. See this? Because my hour hand and. My minute hand are both pointing to the 12, so that's 12 o'clock. This one is also pointing to the 12, so it's going to say o'clock as well. But what time is this? One o'clock. Did I want o'clock? No, I wanted 1.30. So, look where my hour hand is. It is between... The one and the two. So when it says 30, my hour hand is between the two numbers. That is going to be very important for today. Okay. So we can tell that it's 130 by two ways. The hour hand is between the two numbers and then my minute hand points to the 6, which says 30. Okay, you are exactly right. Okay, I want you to turn your paper over. Let's read the directions. Where should you draw the minute hand to show the time? First of all, we can tell what time it is just by looking at the hour hand. What time does this first clock show? 9 o'clock. So let's write 9 o'clock down here. Do I have to have my colons? Yes. yes. Do I have to have both zeros? Yes. Yes. I do. Yeah, that's right. We don't want 900. We want 9 o'clock, right? Hey. So, first grade, because my hour hand is pointing right to the 9, my minute hand is going to point where? When it says, Oh, There's only one there. Yep, we have to draw the next one. So where are we going to write? Draw. At the 12, you are exactly right. And make sure it touches the 12. Please notice, first grade, that my hour hand does not go any farther than this teeny tiny it circle. Only, it can only okay. go like in circles. It's, You're right. The only one side you can point at with the pointy thing is the the three, the twelve, the nine, and the six. With the minute hand, with the long one, the only ones we can point it to is the twelve and the six. That's all we've learned so far. So I should not see a minute hand pointing to any other number, okay? What two numbers have we learned that the minute hand is going to point to? Six and 12. The six or the 12, those are your only two options. When I point it to the 12, it says O'clock. Oh. When it points to the six, it says Those are two things we have to remember. Okay, so do you have to draw your minute hand? Yes. Yes, so I hope that you did that. Do you have to write the numbers of the time it is? Yes. Yes, I hope you did that as well. Okay, let's go to the next one. 
Uh oh, look where my minute or my hour hand is. It is between the two, so it is half past. If I go like this with my minute hand, is that showing half past? No, it is not. How do you show half past on my clock? You were right with the first time when the minute hand is pointing to the six. Okay, the hour hand is pointing between two numbers. And when it is between two numbers, I don't care which two numbers it is, the minute hand has to point to the six. Thank you, first grade. Okay, so first grade, we've got two things we've got to do today. We've got to, oh no, we've got to draw the minute hand and write what time it is. 